When setting a table, Rachel considers elements that provide both function and beauty. A luxurious tabletop appears time-consuming to create. Rachel demonstrates how splendor is achieved with ease. This table that we're setting now is actually going to be a breakfast table, which is going to be quite a surprise because on first glance, the pieces that we're going to be working with will feel like they're much more formal. And that's often where I get my inspirations from, actually, is from formal restaurants or traditional old English hotels. We've got our napkins that we did find at the flea market. And what I'm actually going to have is toast and butter for the toast and eggs, boiled eggs for each individual person. I did decide that I wanted to have silver. And actually, most of the silver that you're going to see is either stainless steel or um, silver plate. We don't have to go to the expense of having real silver or real crystal. The shabby chic way finds alternative uses for many items. This would have been a, a, some kind of decanter that would actually have held some form of vodka or whiskey or something like that. But what I have in here actually is some pineapple juice. Same with this silver gravy boat over here that we have our milk for our tea in. Well this dish here, whoever knew what it real intention was, whether it was to hold candies or... I've no idea. Rachel uses a side table for extra pieces that add to the ambiance. We have items that we just simply don't need for this particular setting. For example, this really great, lovely, large display of flowers. If we had this on the table, it would just be too much, too big. I'm fully aware that the efforts that have gone into putting this table together isn't necessarily something you're going to have time to do as you're getting the kids off to school in the morning. However, there are many mornings, whether it's during school vacations or on a Sunday, where it really is worth just spending those extra five minutes. 